Hello students, in our previous module we had discussed about the various form of energy and we had discussed one of the form of mechanical energy that is your kinetic energy. Today in this module we will discuss about potential energy of an offset. Now the basic question is that what is the difference between kinetic energy and potential energy? As we had already discussed that when an object is moving that means it is under motion, it has certain velocity, the energy possessed by that object will be the kinetic energy. Then what is potential energy? When we do some amount of work in an object, then as we know due to the work done, some amount of energy get transferred into that object. So, when the energy that has been transferred into that object due to the work done has not caused the change in the velocity of that object, that means the energy gets stored inside that object, then in that instance we say that the energy possessed by that object is nothing but the potential energy. So, that is the only difference. When we do a work on object, if the work brings the change in the velocity of an object, we call that energy possessed by the object as kinetic energy. And if you do the work on an object, but that work has not brought any change in the velocity of that object, then we say that the energy possessed by that object is potential energy. For example, in our day to day life, you must have observed a small kid playing with a car. As you know, when the boys try to wind the key before putting it on the floor, so there is a spring inside it. So, when we wind it, that means or the boy winds that key, we are doing some kind of work some amount of work has been done on that spring. So, the due to the work done, the spring acquires some kind of energy, some amount of energy. So, the kind of energy that is acquired by that spring is nothing but the potential energy. Another situation if you take, you must have played with a rubber band. So, when you try to stretch a rubber band, what you do? you apply some kind of force that means a work is done on that rubber band. So, due to the work done, the rubber acquires an amount of energy inside it and the moment you release that, the rubber comes back to its initial position. That means the energy which was stored inside that rubber that brings that rubber into this initial shape. So, we can say that whenever we do some kind of work on an object, but there is no change in the velocity of that object, the energy which is stored inside it is nothing but your potential energy. Here at this point, we will perform an activity in order to understand what is potential energy. So, observe it, I am holding a sling, you must have seen it in the physics lab. So, initially if you see the sling is at rest, now what I am trying to do is I am doing some kind of work on it means I am applying a force on it and I am trying to stretch it. So, the moment I am stretching it due to the work done, the sling acquires a energy inside it and as there is no velocity, there is no change in the position of that spring that is your sling, the energy possessed by it is called as the potential energy. So, the moment I release it, it comes back to its initial position. So, that is what we call it as the potential energy possessed by this sling. I hope Dear students, you understood what is potential energy. Now, 
in order to understand potential energy and gravitational potential energy of an object let's have a look at a video it is as stored energy that is ready or has the potential to do energy is the capacity to do any work another way to think of it is as stored energy that is ready or has the potential to do work gravitational potential energy is the energy that's within an object when it is moved against a gravitational force if an object is raised above the ground it will acquire potential energy the object's gravitational potential energy will depend on its weight as well as how high it is above a surface a heavier object will have more gravitational potential energy consider a large bowling ball and a small baseball that are dropped into identical buckets of water from the same height the larger ball will cause more water to splash out of the bucket than the smaller baseball an object's potential energy will increase when there is an increase in its height above a surface now imagine that we have two balls of the same size being dropped into identical buckets of water the one being dropped from the higher point will possess more gravitational potential energy and so will do more work creating a bigger splash water stored behind a dam or at the top of a waterfall has gravitational potential energy so dear students as you saw in the video the gravitational potential energy increases as the height of the object increases so the vertical height increases the potential energy of that object also increases now let's talk about the potential energy acquired by an object when it is raised to a certain height so here if you see a player is trying to throw a javelin and as the player has lifted that javelin to a certain height we say that it has acquired some kind of energy because while lifting that javelin work has been done against the gravitational pull similarly if you see at the catapult when you pull it backward we do certain kind of work and that work gets converted into energy and gets stored in the catapult in the form of your potential energy and the moment you release that rubber it pushes that stone with a certain amount of velocity that means the rubber due to its potential energy does some work on the stone so this is how we can understand about potential energy so if you go for the definition of your potential energy you can see the energy gets stored due to the work done on the object is called as your potential energy the energy transfer to an object is stored as potential energy if it is not used to cause a change in the velocity or speed of the object so that's what we had understood from that activity also unless and until there is any change in the velocity or speed of that object due to the work done on it the energy possessed by it will be the potential energy now the potential energy possessed by the object can be defined as the energy present in it by the virtue of its position or configuration so the position at which that object is there or the configuration of that object gives us the idea about its potential energy now dear students we will try to find out an expression for the energy acquired by an object when it is raised to a certain height so that is what we call it as gravitational potential energy 
because when we are raising an object to a certain height above the ground we were doing some kind of work against the gravitational pull or gravity so the energy that will be acquired while doing a work against the gravity we call it as gravitational potential energy so let's find out the expression for it for that let us consider a situation suppose a ball is lying on a table and we are doing some work on that ball and it is raised to a height of h in this situation let's find out the energy possessed by that ball when it is raised to a height of h when the work done is against the gravity so we will consider the object mass as m let it be raised through a height of h from the ground a force is required to do this so we know the minimum force required to raise the object is equal to the weight of the object which is nothing but mass into acceleration due to gravity that is mg and let the work done on that object against the gravity be denoted by w so in that case how we will find out the expression for work done and the expression for the energy so let's have a look so let us indicate it by w which is is equal to force multiplied by the displacement so the force will assume the force required to lift that object from the ground to the height h so that is nothing but mg and the displacement is nothing but the height h itself from the table or from the ground to that particular height so we'll denote it by h so that will give us w is equal to mgh or we can represent because this is the work done in order to raise that object from the ground to that particular height that means the work done through that displacement h so the potential energy will be ep will be nothing but the work done mgh so this is the expression for the potential energy when an object is raised to a certain height now here a question arises in mind as you saw in that animation that the ball is raised from point a to a point b in a vertical direction now if we take that ball in a different path instead of going in a straight path if we deviate the path something like this if you observe this animation first it went the straight then it makes a zigzag path and reaches the final height will the potential energy change because of the change in the path through which the ball has moved and reached a height the answer is no the potential energy will always depend on the vertical distance that means from ground level to the vertical height what is the difference that will decide the potential energy or in increase in the potential energy of that object irrespective of the path taken it does not depend on the path which has been followed by that object to reach that particular height so i hope you understood this now let's try to solve some numerical associated with your potential energy or expression for the potential energy so one such question is in front of you find the energy possessed by an object of mass 10 kg when it is at a height of 6 meter above the ground given that the acceleration due to gravity that is g we will consider as 
meet up of second square. Now we have already discussed about the expression for the potential energy. So when it is at six meter height, we'll find out the work done, and that work done will give us the potential energy possessed by the object. So let's see how we can solve it. So here what we'll do, we'll use the expression E P stands for your potential energy will be equal to m g h. Here the mass of the object has been given as ten kg. Multiplied by acceleration due to gravity is nine point eight meter per second square, and the height given to us is a six meter. And if you solve it, we will get a value of five hundred eighty-eight joule. That means an amount of five hundred eighty-eight joule potential energy. is possessed by that object when it is raised to a height of 6 meter i hope you understood this part now dear students we will take another example another numerical so that we can understand this concept this application with a much more clarity so here is the question in front of you an object of mass 12 kg is at a certain height above the ground if the potential energy of the object is 480 joule find the height at which the object is with respect to the ground so here the potential energy has already given to us the mass is given to us we have to find out the height at which the energy that potential energy will be equal to 480 joule so here again we'll use the same expression ep is equal to mgh and we'll solve the problem so let's look at the solution so the solution will be here we can write it as ep is equal to mgh the h we need to find out mass is given to us mass is given as 12 kg and the ep that is your potential energy is given to us as 480 joule and the acceleration due to gravity is will consider it as 10 meter per second square as for the question so we'll substitute this value so after we substitute these values 480 joule will be is equal to 12 kg multiplied by 10 meter per second square multiplied by h which is the height and if we solve it h will be is equal to 480 divided by 100 Twenty height will be nothing but that unit will be meter. So if you see, the answer will come it as four meter. That means the result shows us if an object of mass twelve kilogram is raised to a height of four meter, then the work done against the gravity will get transferred as the potential energy. in that object and the value will be 480 joule my dear students today we'll conclude our lesson with this but before that we will solve another numericals related to your gravitational potential energy so here is the question in front of you so the question given to you is an object of mass 10 kg is lifted 8 meter above the ground the acceleration due to gravity is 9.8 meter per second square what is the gravitational potential energy of the object the options given to you 7840 joule 78.4 joule 784 joule 
और सेवन पॉइंट एट फोर जूल सो हियर वी कैन इजीली सॉल्व दिस बाय अप्लाइंग द फॉर्मूला पोटेंशियल एनर्जी इज इक्वल टू एम जी एच द वैल्यूज आर गिवेन टू यू सो यू ट्राई वट विल बी द आंसर सो हियर इज द आंसर इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू नाउ इफ यू सब्सिट्यूट ऑल दिस वैल्यूज यू विल गेट द ऑप्शन एज सेवन हंड्रेड एट्टी फोर जूल मास इज गिवेन टेन के जी एक्सेलेशन ड्यू टू ग्रेविटी इज नाइन पॉइंट एट मीटर पर सेकेंड स्क्वायर हाइट इज एट मीटर सो इफ यू सब्सिट्यूट ऑल दिस वैल्यूज द आंसर यू विल गेट इज सेवन हंड्रेड एट्टी फोर जूल सो डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड वट इज पोटेंशियल एनर्जी वट इज ग्रेविटेशनल पोटेंशियल एनर्जी एंड हाउ वी कैन सॉल्व डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ न्यूमेरिकल्स रिलेटेड टू टू इट इन आवर नेक्स्ट क्लास we will discuss about the conservation of energy and the rate of doing work that is your power so till then read your ncert textbook practice all these numericals given in the book take care of yourself thank you